guys, welcome back to another video on the DJ Smith Gaming 22 channel. Today we're going to film our Premier League predictions 2017 to 2018. As I've got my hair done because I'm going out for dinner in Trentport in like two hours or so, or an hour. No, not even that to be honest. Um, we're going to do my Premier League prediction. Dad's doing it when we come back. So, and then I'll react to them at the end of the season. So I'll start from 20th. I'll tell you my bottom three. Then I'll work up my, my I'll work myself up. Right. I won't have time to explain it because this video is too long. I'm sorry I'll ride it back on my work. No. 20th. I've gone for Huddersfield. As you can see. <laughs> There's my teams. I'll just tell you. 20th, I've got Huddersfield. I don't think they'll stay up because look at look the new the new promoted side, and they won't cope for the other teams. Some teams have got good signings, some teams haven't. But that that I'm gonna put Huddersfield in 20th. 19th, I'm picking Brian. They signed some okay players in Matty Ryan, Izzy Brown, but it's not a game changer, if you want to call it like Spencer says, not a game changer. Matt Ryan, good keeper. Izzy Brown, <laughs> didn't really get into Chelsea's subs really, but I, don't, I think they'll come down and I think they'll finish in 19th. 18th, I'm going to say Swansea. Swansea got lucky past two or three seasons. Well, past two or one or two seasons. Um, it's because they didn't go down. They stayed up. But I think they'll go down this year. It's because they haven't got the big names. They've left. They've sold one of the mostly key centre mids, Jack Cork, to Burnley. And plus, I think he's gone to Burnley. Tell me in the comments if he... He has gone to Burnley. Um, and also they might be losing Gil Fitzgibson. He might want to move on. So I think 18th. I think Swansea will finish 18th and go down to the Championship with Brighton and Huddersfield. So moving on to 17th to 15th. 17th I've gone Burnley. 16th I've gone Newcastle. And 15th I've gone Watford. Burnley 17th. I think they'll just miss out on relegation because they haven't signed, as I said, they've signed Jock Court. Oh, kind of good signing, but John Walters. And they've lost Michael Keane, by the way. And Heaton had to keep him in, kept, kept him in loads of games last season, so I think they'll finish 17th this season. Just miss out on the relegation. 16th, I'm going, obviously, as I said, Newcastle, because I think they'll stay up, because they've got a good team to stay up, they've got Mitrovic, they've bought, Dwight, they've got, no, they've got Mitrovic, the last season they bought Jack Gale, they've got John Joe Shelby still, Chanson and Bemba, and a good goalie of Sells, so, um... Tell me in the comments who they've signed because I don't know. So that is my 16th. So 15th I went for Watford because Watford. They've signed Will Hughes, Tom Cleverley, um, but those are centre mids. Will Hughes is good. He can go in, but they didn't really need a lot of centre mids because still got Pierre Pereira. They've got. They've lost Dennis Suarez, he can play left mid. Tell me in the comments if they have still got Pereira. I don't know. Uh, they did they sign cleverly? Or did they already play? No, he didn't play. You did play for last year. Tom Clever played for Everton, didn't he? Yeah, so. 15th is an okay position for Swansea, in my opinion. Swansea, Watford. 14th, I've gone for Stoke. They've signed two good players, to be honest. Okay, good players. I think they'll have good seasons. They've signed Kurt Zuma on loan from 
Chelsea, signed Darren Fletcher from West Brom, good captain. But is it enough to keep him? Is it enough to? It's not really enough to make him finish like tenth or over. Um, yeah. So, and the reason I'm putting him there, they've lost Anatovic, one of their best players last season. They sell him to West Ham. So. 14th for Stoke. 13th I'm going Crystal Palace. They're a good side and all, same as like West Brom. Um, they've got Ben Teke. They've brought Wolford Zaha. They've got the brought, brought They've got Ben Teke. They've got Ben Teke. They've got Wolford Zaha. They've got Kabai. So I think the team is good enough to finish in 13th. Also, they've got a new manager called Frank De Bella. So I think they'll finish 13th. 12th, I've gone for West Brom. They are a good team because Tony Pulis is making them play good football. Um, still got Nasser Chadley. Tell me if they've still got Nasser Chadley or I think I've seen the rumour that he's gone, but I think they've still got him. They've got still got Ben Foster, they've got a good team and they've got Tony Pooler, so I think they'll finish twelfth this year. Eleventh, I'm going for Bournemouth. Eddie Owl is a good manager. He brought Jermaine Defoe and Begovic. Jermaine Defoe is gonna get loads of goals for them. He's gonna keep them in the league. Like he got loads of goals for Sunderland, but Sunderland just needed to improve the defence. <laughs> yeah, so I think he'll score loads of goals. Azmir Begovic didn't get real game time last year, but when he games, I didn't think he made a save when he went into the games. But he had some goalkeeping issues, so I think he'll do well at Bournemouth. Because he, he has not got fit, so he didn't play. That's why he didn't do as well, because he didn't get fit in that. So I think they'll finish in 11th and Begovic will do well this year. 10th um, I've gone for Leicester. They've signed a couple of players like Klee, Chi, Ian Um They've signed Ibova and also they've signed Harry Maguire. But I don't think it... I think not. No, wait, don't no, sorry. Um, their tenth place will be okay for them. I think they'll be happy with that. But I, yeah, I think they'll finish in tenth. Ninth, I've gone for Southampton. Southampton in ninth because they've got a new manager, but they've only signed one player. They've they've got rid of loads of players. They've only signed one player, but I think they'll finish ninth because. They've still got Fraser Forster, they've still got Shane Long, they've still got Deuce and Tadic, Oreo and Mayo, Nathan Redmond's a good player. So is probably is to keep on to Van if so Van Dyke they've got fifty mil. So they could go and buy anyone. Really. Eighth I've gone for West Ham. Four absolutely amazing signings for them. Joe Art. Fabio Zadileta, Hernandez and Anatovic. Chicharito did well for Bayer Leverkusen. I don't know why Manu sold him. Joe Hart did a... Pep Gawley didn't like him, but he did go to Torino and did okay for them. But Zabaleta, he got released by Man City. Still a good signing. Because Arbelo is retired. And... They brought a new centre back on, uh, right back on, so I think that's a good signing. And Altovic, really good play, really good signing for West. I think West Ham, that's a really good signing for them. And I think that eighth position will be up, be all right. I need to quickly get into this because I'm going soon. Seventh, I'm going Everton. Reason? It's because I um they have. Got a load of players in like Pickford, Keane, Classen, Sandro. But do you f but they've lost the Kaku. And he ain't got a really good replacement for him, but the team is still good. 
Michael Keane off Burnley. Strengthens him. Makes Burnley go worse. So Burnley and Williams might be a good. Pickford, good goalie. That's why he moved because he didn't want to play for the championship. But put Pickford kept Sunderland, tried to keep Sunderland in a lot of games last season. But I knew he would have moved on. And yeah. Sixth place I've gone for Tottenham. Reason I've not put them in the Champions League um places is because um they haven't signed anyone. They haven't signed anyone. Plus they've lost Kyle Walker, but they've still got Kieran and Trippier, so it's not bad, but they've lost Kyle Walker. And plus they haven't signed anyone. They could have signed at least one good player. At least. But they haven't. So that's why I'm putting them in six. Fifth, I'm going Man U. This is a hard one to explain. Um Tell I don't I'm not gonna explain this, but tell me in the comments. Do you think Man Man United's squad is better was better last year's squad or this year's squad that they've built? Tell me in the comments below. So now it's moving on to the top four positions. Fourth, I'm going Chelsea. Reason. Because. Tell me in the comments, do you think my is better than Diego Costa? In my opinion, I think he's not. Rudy got it back. They needed a centre back, but they could have got, got someone better. Also could play right back, so... Actually, it might have been a good, okay signing. So you can play right back and you can play centre back. But Bakayako, good signing. Because it places for Matic. That is a good move, Chelsea. But actually, Bakayako and Kante in the midfield, that is good. But I, I think they'll finish fourth this year. Third, I'm going Arsenal. The reason. Sign Lacazette, good player. But he's done it in the French League, guys. He's done it in the French League. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Tell me if you agree with that. French League is absolutely nothing. Like this video if you think French is not absolutely nothing, please. Sanchez might be going. If you keep hold of Sanchez, they've got a good squad. I think they'll I think they'll be title they'll be chasing for the title. But if they lose Sanchez, I think third will be them. That's moving on to the top two. In second place, I'm going for Liverpool. My club. We've signed Mo Salah. Um, you guys might be saying, why are you putting Liverpool? You're only putting Liverpool in second because you want them to go for. No, because I think we'll go second. But if we can sign Van Dyke, we could go for the title as well. We've got Robertson. He was probably one of the best players at Hull. Mohamed Salah was good for Roma. Also, also if we sign Van Dijk and Keita, we could be good. But we could be losing Coutinho, and that could be a big loss for us. So if we lose Coutinho and don't sign Van Dijk or Keita, I think we'll drop to like fourth or third or something. So that means first place I've gone for Manchester City. The reason is because... We've signed a lot of players, but all of them goes into the team, like Edison. He's just better than Bravo, but he's done it. He's... My dad's opinion said he might have a shaky season, but I think he might. I don't think he will. Right back, they've got Kyle Walker. They've got the sport Benjamin Mende. They've got... What? I'm just filming this video, it'll be like... It's nearly done. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, I need to be quick. So, the Van Benjamin Mende, they've got, also got Bernard Silva. And, and the team's just good. They just keep De Bruyne and Aguero. So, if you enjoyed this video, tell me in the comments if you agree with that. Or if you don't agree with that. So, as I said, it, it's only the French League. Put that in the comments and... Do you think Man's United's team was better? That's you. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.